David claims Zephi and Philip had a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship and that it was Zephi who was the mastermind behind the robbery. But Zephi's parents claim she is not a suspect. Crystal Trevino calls her daughter a sex trafficking victim and says it can happen to any young, impressionable girl. Take a look. You believe at that point your daughter was being trafficked? Yes. You said you came home one day and Philip Baldenegro was in your house, just laying on the bed. Yes, sir. What's your attitude about Philip now? I just think that, you know, very bold individual, because if it would have been me in his shoes, I would have done everything that I could have to get out of there. But he didn't do that. He sat there like he owned the place. Real, I mean, bold is the proper way to say it, but didn't, didn't bother him. Just started putting his clothes on and walked out of my house. I think he's trash. And you think these two guys were, both of you think they were running your daughter in a sex trafficking fashion? Yes. And you think they had her dominated? You think they had her scared? You think they were doing their thinking for her? Yes. Do you think it's reasonable for the state to expect a 16-year-old girl to stand up to two grown men? No. No? Not with, not by herself, not with guns involved, not with any of that. That whole situation is, for anyone to think that that, to be honest, is asinine. They are ridiculous for believing that a minor child, the only girl, four grown men, guns, alone, she's supposed to stand up. I'm thankful she's not dead today. I'm thankful that that gun didn't go off and hit her too. I'm thankful for a lot of things, but I cannot believe in my heart of hearts that people would believe that as little as she is, 100 pounds, four grown men, that she had any power in that situation. They're not alleging that she shot anyone? No. no sir. That she took a gun, that she knew there was a no, gun? No, he's sir. admitted guilt to shooting. Jesse's admitted to having a gun and, and them um, stealing from these men. I mean, I don't know how much specifics, but she was in the room alone with a grown 25, 24 year old man. Logically, put that all together. Yeah. Well, it's just a few years older than my granddaughter and I just can't imagine uh, that how quickly coping skills would be overwhelmed in that situation. Zephy has experienced a lot of trauma because she has nightmares that he's coming to get her. And that's gotta be bad, that's gotta be hard. You know, it has to be hard to be able to, to have to live with that. We haven't even gotten to the place where, you know, she was locked up for a year, basically a holding area for a year, no services. You know, we haven't even had a chance to get her some therapy, some help, because the case is ongoing and we still have to go to trial. There's not much we can talk about, but it's hard. It's not an easy thing. Well, these grown men are alleging that this 16-year-old child was the mastermind. That is so asinine. Um, that a 16-year-old child is conceptualizing this, strategizing this, putting this all together, and telling these grown men what to do. Uh, how does that fit in your ear? It doesn't. It's foolish. Thanks for watching. While I have you, don't forget to click that little red button below to subscribe. Come on, you know you want to. Do it.